Uh, new at midday, the man accused uh, by police of running a murderous drug gang was sentenced this morning, and he won't serve any jail time. Tim McNicholas was inside the courthouse for Richard Grundy, the third sentencing. He joins us live in downtown now. Tim, what happened? Well, Grundy will serve two years probation, but first he plans to move out of Indianapolis because he says he's being constantly harassed. He entered a plea deal last month to avoid jail time. Grundy walked out of this building behind me in a T-shirt and jeans, saying he thought the sentence was fair and he was never in a gang. Grundy agreed to enter a plea last month, uh, pleading guilty to dealing marijuana, a Class C felony. He was initially charged in 2015 with conspiracy to deal marijuana, conspiracy to commit murder, corrupt business influence, and criminal gang activity. All of those charges are dropped. The plea deal includes a six-year sentence, but that includes credit for time served and good time credit. Prosecutors charged Grundy with murder in 2014 as well, uh, then dropped the charge after a witness lied about her identity. I asked Grundy, why would police accuse you of these things if, if they're not true? It was one of them cases where they, they planted that seed of murder. They put that, they implicated that in your head and fed that to y'all from day one, so they had to stand by. So Grundy, he says uh, he, he won't say where he plans to move, but he did say that he plans to move to the West Coast uh, and serve his probation there. I asked if he thinks this is the end or if he thinks police will keep coming after him, and he said as long as his, his transfer is approved, he does think that this is the end. We'll hear more from our interview with Grundy tonight at 5 and 6. Live downtown, I'm Tim McNicholas, 24-Hour News 8.